but do you know what they do? Sure. What? They drive funny. Yeah, well. Well, what? You know what kinds there are? Kinds of what? Drugs. I know. You know you can smoke them? Sure, like a cigarette. And you can take them like a pill, too. And you can sniff them. You can what? Sniff them. Smell them like a flower. Come on. It's the truth. And you can stick them in your arm with a needle. A needle? A big old needle. Not me, boy. What if you had to? Why would I have to? Because. Because of what? Well, I mean... What? Drugs are like that. If you keep bouncing that ball in the house, I'm going to tell. Oh, all right. Come on, we'll build something. Once you start some things, you just can't stop. And drugs are like that, too. You pick it up, and it's hard to drop. And drugs are like that, too. Like a baby going through a phase And like a player playing in a daze Yeah, yeah, you break a rule and you have to pay It may not hurt, but then again it may Drugs are like that too, you know Drugs are like that too, I know, no, no Drugs are like that too How come you know so much? About what? That dreadful stuff. Oh, a lady came to our school today. I first got wind of this educational film, Drugs Are Like That, narrated by that Aquanet addled crackpot, Anita Bryant from Rift Tracks. Rift Tracks is the third incarnation of the Mike Nelson ensemble from Mystery Science Theater 3000 at rifttracks.com. And if I can get by all the redirect Trojans I have on my computer, I'll read all about it. Okay. It says, There are so many things to which drugs can be compared that to even attempt to catalog them would be an act of incomprehensible madness. Yet in this pastel-colored 1970s nightmare, two hard-of-hearing logaraic preteens are up to the task. Have you always wondered, are drugs like pumpkins, like small willow saplings, like those bags of cotton candy you buy in gift shops? Find out as Mike, Kevin, and Bill go once more unto the breach. Now, the Internet Archive says, Anita Bryant, famous Florida orange juice and anti-gay spokeswoman, narrates this film that tries to simplify its drug abuse message with an analogy of kids putting together a contraption out of Lego blocks. Although the metaphors often don't make sense, the visual impact of the film is stunning and could easily be quite popular with individuals consuming illicit drugs. Also, like most anti-drug films, this could be a tempting introduction to drugs for some youths yearning to escape their boring lives or to rebel against their parents." End quote. Listen, and perhaps you will be convinced to stay at home with a wet sheet over your head. Or are drugs just like that, too?
machine à clous Moi je veux être fripé, triplement fripé Fripé comme une triplette de belle vie Je veux pas finir ma vie à Acapulco Dans ces tourelles avec des gigolos Moi je veux être tordu, triplement tordu Balancé comme une triplette de belle vie Allez les filles, allez about a baby. A what? A baby. <laughs> This is a baby. The baby lives in a crib because he can't take very good care of himself. The baby wears diapers because, well, we know all about that. The baby is kind of scared, so he sucks on this thing to take his mind off his troubles. Drugs are like that. He must really have been hooked on that thing. Drugs are like that. Too. You know what that means? Hooked? Like he's gotta have it. Yeah. Give me that. Wonder why he's gotta have that. Mm. What? That thing he puts in his mouth. God believes in atheists. God believes in atheists. Bring your children to atheists. Evolution, evolution. Horrible televangelists with their money grabbing. I'd like to shake it off. You can start the Christian Nazi party if you want. I'd like to shake it off. So here's a fork. Stick it up there. Stick it up there. Also, you it. You believe in Santa Claus. It doesn't make any difference in your life at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can hit the banana. You can hit the banana. You got your funny. You got your funny. Yeah. Yeah. You got your funny. God believes in atheists. God believes in atheists. Bring your children to atheists. Evolution. Evolution. You can start the Christian Nazi party if you want. I'd like to shake it off. Shake it off. Believe in Santa Claus. It doesn't make any difference in your life at all. You can have the banana. Well, he's dumb. Not dumb, he's a baby. You don't think babies are dumb? No, they're just, um... Um... Just what? Babies. That's what I said. That's kid stuff. I guess. What are you making? Something. What is it? A windmill? It's something. Is it a windmill? It's something. What else did she say? Who? The lady. Oh, oh yeah. Did you want really to step on a crack? A what? A crack. This is a sort of a game, not stepping on the lines and cracks. It's kind of fun. But if you play it long enough, it can get to be a habit. Drugs are like that. Habits are very easy to get started and very hard to stop. Habits can be pretty dangerous sometimes. Habits can cost you a lot of money. <laughs> In the long run, habits are a lot more trouble than they're worth. Drugs are like that, too. to me in the parking lot of the hardware store today. He said, you look kind of lost in there. Could you use some help? I told him, no, thank you. And I got into my car, but as I drove away, I said to myself, S? Elf? You've waited all your life for someone to notice how lost you look. Now you refuse help from Jesus, of all people. Jesus. Yes, I'm lost, and I could use some help. I just was not expecting you there in the parking lot of the hardware store. You know, I'm kicking myself, and my thoughts are full of what would have happened if I would have taken you up on your offer. But now it's too late. I went and sent you away. Jesus, he's still out there. 
he's canvassing all of the parking lots of all of the hardware stores of these great United States, and he won't stop there. Soon you'll find him in the parking lots of all of the hardware stores of all of North and South America, and then he'll migrate over to Europe and Africa and China. Wait, do they have hardware stores in China, and do they have parking lots? Well, knowing Jesus, that won't stop him. You have to have your act together pretty good to be the son of God. Jesus, yes I'm lost, and I could still use some help. But I think from now on you should wear a t-shirt or a button that says Jesus, son of God. Jesus, your understated approach took me by surprise. I thought you were talking hardware, but no, you were talking eternal life and salvation. I'm still regretting how in my haste I sent you away. This song goes out to Jesus, wherever he may be wandering. For his untiring perseverance in soliciting unsuspecting shoppers there in the parking lots of all of the hardware stores of this great earth. Jesus, we love you, and we respect your clever new marketing strategy. Jesus, it's so lost, but I feel the problem is resolving itself. From now on, my eyes and ears are open, and I'm much more prepared to meet saviors and sons of God while I am shopping in hardware stores. But not only hardware stores, wherever I shop, wherever I am, I look deeply into the eyes of my fellow earthlings, and I look for Jesus. Jesus, yes, I'm lost, but I'm feeling a little better. I still like the idea of a t-shirt or a button. Some of us are a little preoccupied and we need to see a label. Jesus, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, oh said that habits were very easy to get started and very hard to stop. I could. You could what? Stop a habit if I had one. Don't you? What? Have any habits? No. You bite your fingernails. That's no habit. I just suck when I wanted to. Why don't you then? Because I need that face. <laughs> How about the way you fold your hair? What about it? That's a habit. Oh, it is not. You do it all the time. I could stop any time I wanted to. Why don't you? Because. Is it some kind of a machine? What? What you building? We'll see. Come on. Is it a machine? It's a machine. It's a machine. Didn't she tell you they make you act funny? What? Drugs, marijuana, stuff like that. Didn't she tell you that it makes you act funny? Sure she did. What'd she tell you? She said it was like if you were a real good ball player. This guy's a pretty good ball player. He can catch. He can throw. He can hit, he can run. He can even do something silly just because it makes him feel funny.
coffin What the Bible says about women and their words But God says shame quite so much, and you can't do it quite so good. Some things can make you look pretty stupid. Drugs are like that, too. Why would he do that? Why would he do what? Get all funny, busy, and try to do something, like play ball. That's the thing. Suppose it was like a, like a, like a what? Like a habit, you know. You mean like the lines and cracks or something? Yeah, like that. Or that baby and that thing he sucks on? Yeah. Boy, that's dumb. <laughs> What's it gonna do? What? What you're making? Is it gonna do anything? You'll see. I bet it won't do anything. The machine, I'll do something all right. I bet it's a windmill. That's really dumb. What? Drugs, taking drugs. Oh, yeah. And that's not all. You know something else the lady told us about? What? I'm gonna get the cookies. This is someone who's doing something she's not supposed to. not supposed to get into the cookie jar. It's like there was a law against it.
de partie n'importe où Bras dessus, bras dessous En chantant des chansons C'est si bon De se dire des mots doux De petits rien du tout Mais qui ont dit en langue En voyant notre mineur Ravieux. Les passants dans la rue nous envient. C'est si bon de guetter dans ses yeux une esprit merveilleux qui donnait la frisson. C'est si bon ces petites sensations. Ça vaut mieux que million. C'est tellement, tellement bon. C'est bon. Voilà, c'est bon. Les passants dans la rue. Bras dessus, bras dessus. En chantant des chansons. Quel esprit merveilleux. C'est bon. Je cherche un millionnaire avec des grands Cadillac cars, mink coats, des bijoux jusqu'au cou, tu sais. Mmh, C'est bon. Ces petites sensations. Peut-être quelqu'un avec... Un petit yacht, non Oh, c'est bon. C'est bon, je suis bon. Vous savez bien que j'attendrai quelqu'un qui pourrait m'apporter beaucoup de loot. Ce soir, demain, la semaine prochaine, n'importe quand. Mmh, c'est bon, si bon, <rire> il sera très crazy, non? Voilà, c'était. Some things are against the law, you know. Drugs are like that. <laughs> But go back and look at it another way. She's not supposed to go after the cookies. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason she's not supposed to go after the cookies. Maybe it's not such a bad law after all. But she can't talk about that right now. She's wondering whether those cookies were really worth it. Drugs are like that, too. You gotta want a cookie. Pretty bad to go through all that. Him and that. That's the whole point, silly. What point? About drugs. What about them? Like, if it gets to be a habit, you can look silly and get hurt and get punished and everything. Dum -dum. Mm -hmm. Dum -dum. Dum -dum. Are you going to make it work? We'll see. Are you going to tell me what it is? It's an internal motion machine. What's that? It's a machine and it works and it's perfect and it just keeps on working. I thought it was a windmill. Yeah, well, it's not. What do you mean, hurt? What do you mean? You said drugs can hurt you. How do you know they can? How do you know they can't? 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 Because that's what the lady said about the lake. What lake?
This looks like a great lake to swim across. This looks like great water to dive in. This looks like a great rope to swing on. The whole setup looks great. But it can fool you. Drugs are like that. Never mind what they look like they'll do. It's what they might do you have to worry about. The rope might be great to swing on. But it might make you look pretty stupid. The water might look great to dive in. But it might be a real pain in the neck. The lake might be great to swim across. It might be all she wrote. Drugs are like that, too. So they're not sure drugs can hurt you. They're not sure they can. So why do people fool around with them? Just dumb, I guess. Yeah. Want to see my internal motion machine work? Can I turn it on? Go ahead. Boy, that's neat. It really worked. Of course it worked. I printed it all out. You were just lucky. What do you mean, lucky? Every single part is doing just exactly what I wanted it to. Yeah. You know what? What?
listen, boy, what's the matter with you? Don't you dare deny that you want sex too. I said it's something that you can't explain. You're heading for the sun like a fool in the rain. HIV pregnancy, and then what's next? Is it really worth it to have sex? Hi, we're like the machine. We take good care of ourselves. Don't do anything dumb, and everything works fine. Yeah, I guess. What would happen if we made one little change, just for fun? Do what? Just tried one little thing, just for kicks. I don't know. Go ahead, try it. did was try one little thing. I just did it for kicks. You know what? What? Frogs are like that. Getting older is a lot like walking down a street you never walked down before. You never know what's around the next corner. Some of the things might be great. <coughs> Some of the things might be terrible. Oh, no. Don Rickles, please. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Don. Hi. If you get a chance, we could use heat in the apartment. <laughs> Say, uh, Don, uh, you are very superstitious, okay? Okay. So, all right, so you go... <laughs> so you go to a brook and, <laughs> and you catch a frog. Then you rub it on your face. Just what is that supposed to do? That's supposed to put you in a state hospital. <laughs> hey, Tony Weaver. Hey, Big Chuck. Yeah. According to recent research... Lay it on me. Okay, is the average American male today at his physical peak at age 20, 30, or 40? Peter, I haven't had a peak since I was 40. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go with Karen Valentine this I time. don't blame you. Why is the booby bird called the booby bird? Because <laughs> it has big feet. <laughs> the one and only Paul Lynn. The one and only. Right, Mr. You. Only. True or false? Some airlines now give you a thorough frisking before permitting you to board the plane. Well, that's the only reason I fly. Can <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I start with Charlie Weaver, please? According to recent studies in New Zealand, uh -huh. who's more likely to grow up having speech problems? A baby boy who has been bottle-fed or one who has been breast-fed? I would say... Uh, all I, all I can say is this, Peter. Let's put it this way. Okay. Sophia Lauren's two-year-old son mm. is the number one disc jockey in Palermo. I didn't know that. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> uh, Jan Mary. This is for $1,000 in a tie game. What is the worst punishment you can get for bigamy in California? Two mother-in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big Jan. I would Paul. Paul. In what famous book will you read about a talking ass who wonders why it's being beaten? <laughs> I read it, The Joy of Sex. <laughs> Some of the things might look terrible and turn out to be great. <laughs> Some of the things might look great and turn out to be terrible. Drugs are like that.
so be careful turning corners. Some things you just can't stop And drugs are like that too You pick it up It's hard to drop And drugs are like that Never do anything A baby going through a phase A player playing in a days. You break a rule and you have to pay Will it hurt? Well, who's to say? Drugs are like that, drugs are like that, drugs are like that too. I'm singing, drugs are like that, drugs are like that, drugs are like that.
think of that girl from time to time. I'd even call her up when I've got a dime. I'd say, hello, baby. She'd say, ain't you cool? I'd say, yeah. Cops or gangsters could make a clear out of anybody over these circumstances by taking a Webley 38 or a Smith & Wesson or a Colt or something like that and doing R245. <laughs> that exteriorizes most anybody. I hope you all learned your lesson. That lesson is don't do anything. See you next week, because podcasts are like that. <laughs>